Hello, welcome to the section of circuit analysis. Here we're going to get some practice with reducing circuits that involve capacitors. What we're trying to do is find out what would the equivalent capacitance be looking in from this circuit and what would the equivalent initial condition voltage be. You see some of these uh, capacitances, uh, like this one here, this is 5 microfarads. It has an initial condition of 5 volts across it in this orientation. This is 4 microfarads. It has 30 volts across it, but it's flipped around the other way and so on. So this guy's 30 microfarads, 16 microfarads, 48 microfarads. We have a 3 microfarad capacitor that's diagonal in here and a 10 microfarad here. And you can see we have voltage drops and, and the polarities are given. So how would we find the equivalent capacitance looking in with the equivalent initial condition voltage? Uh, so we know we ha can have capacitors in series. We know we can have them in parallel. There's probably more than one way to do all these problems. So I'm going to show you my way and you know you may find a different path yourself. First thing I see when I look at this is I see these two capacitors here because I know that they're in a single path so that means they are in series with one another. So for series capacitors, for series capacitors, uh, it follows the the rule that's 1 over equivalent capacitance is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. That's fine, but we've also learned that when you have two of these guys, then it actually gets even simpler. So you can say that the equivalent capacitance is equal to the product over the sum, and we've done that a lot, especially with resistors. Product of these capacitances divided by their sum. So 48 times 16 over 48 plus 16. When you multiply the top and you add the bottom and you divide, you will get 12 microfarads. 12 microfarads. So, I know it's a pain, but really it is to your best, in your best interest to redraw the circuit every time you do this um, because it's just going to get ugly if, if you don't. So here is a capacitor, and you don't have to label everything on the left hand side every single time, but you really need to try to, um, to do that because it'll take a little bit of time, but then if you get the correct answer the first time, then it's not a big deal. So we have this guy, this is our equivalent capacitance on the corner, here's our diagonal capacitance right there. All right. So what we just found is that these two capacitances, when you find their equivalent capacitance, you get 12 microfarads. And what do you think the initial voltage is going to be? Well, here we have 20 going negative to positive. Here we had zero. So really it's the same exact voltage because you're basically adding zero volts to it. So we use the same polarity as this because here we're just adding nothing to it. So this becomes negative positive, and I'll put 20 volts in red so you know that this is uh, the thing here. Let me go ahead and spend just a few seconds um, with the rest of the circuit. This is 30 microfarads. This is 3 microfarads.